Martin. I'm Nick on bass. Tom, lead guitar. Rob Alexander, vocals. Steve, second guitar. Graham, drums. Brilliant. I caught you set earlier, I thought it was awesome. How do you lot think it went? Ah, oh, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Great crowd, great stage, great sound. Yeah, man, couldn't ask for better, honestly. Absolutely brilliant. Loved it. And the other thing about this festival is people like everyone's been great here, it's got a great vibe about it. All the people you meet are all so friendly and everyone's all getting into it, which is which is fantastic, you know. Really, really cool. And what did you guys have for breakfast today? <coughs> well, really? I had um, noodles with pasta things and chili sauce on it. <laughs> it's good, it's good hangover. It was by the hotel. So good a sound. And uh, what recordings are currently available for people to buy? Well, uh, at the moment we have um, an EP, uh, Path to Glory. So it's got a, about five songs on there, a couple of live tracks. Um, so I think that's about it at the moment. And, oh no, sorry, we also have um, a release, uh, Dead Man's Paradise, which is released on Rise Above Records. Yeah, which is on vinyl as well, so it's nice. Uh, and how do you guys prepare for a gig? Plenty of beer, <laughs> plenty of women, <laughs> and um, a cappuccino for Nick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who do you regard as your heroes? Um, that's a tough one. Spider-Man, probably. <laughs> 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 No, seriously, I think I think the likes of you know Judas Priest, obviously, uh, you know Maiden, the old school, early 1980s sound. I mean, that, that, those are our biggest influences in the band. I think, yeah. And how do you try and update the old school stuff? I mean, it's uh, it's it's obviously old school, but it's got more of a new vibe to it. How do you manage to work that together? I think it's just about keeping it real. You know, I mean, we we haven't like gone out of a way to try and update any sound. We just give it our crowning glory sound. Um, basically, our stamp is on what we've 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 learned from um, what we love, uh, and basically we portray that when we when we write and when we perform. You've got five guys coming together. You're bound to get a different take on something, even if you're striving towards some the same thing. You're going to get a different take, a different personality in it, and that's hopefully what ends up sounding like Crowning Glory, you know, rather than just a blueprint yeah. of something else. Was how these like we all love the same but all similar stuff again it also helps on that it's like we've all got very similar tastes and it's all the same music um, and that's again that's a part of making that as well they're all very similar tastes and as you know, they ever grow and uh, who's got the biggest feet <laughs> biggest Tom, feet me Tom. proportion him Tom. Yeah. he's like about size <laughs> 29 <laughs> boots isn't he yeah uh, yeah look at that look at that size 12 uh, too. It's very muddy. It's great. If we ever get caught in the Amazon, we've got two boats right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what you say about people with big feet, don't you? Big shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was going to go for the obvious then, didn't you? <laughs> You're too nice for that, aren't Tom? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> and, uh, have you guys got other jobs other than being in a band? Uh, unfortunately, yes, we have. Unfortunately, unfortunately, yeah, because it pays the bills, but yeah, I mean, we, obviously, you know, our, our passion is music, but yeah, we yeah, still have to get up Monday morning and do our shit jobs. <laughs> uh, probably not, no. <laughs> All they care about is their business and that's their affair, but you know, at the end of the day, like, you know, it's just, it's just a job, isn't it? But, you know, we just keep it real, we uh, work hard. Um, not nine till five, five days a week, and then when the weekend comes, that's that's when we when we uh, you know let it hair down. Yeah, especially you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, especially me. And yeah, that, I mean that's that's when we that's when we rock out and go mental. Basically, to work tomorrow morning. So, yeah. What do your families think about? Very supportive, generally. Yeah, yeah everyone's, I mean, everyone's families well up for it. You know, they appreciate what we're doing and stuff. So they know we mean it. They know yeah. it's what we want to do. You know, like they're comfortable with it. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you're married. I mean, they might not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they might not understand or enjoy the music, but they, uh, they, they, you know, they're supportive. Yeah. As Nick says. And uh, finally, have you got anything that you'd like to say to people to make you go out and buy the records? If you're into real heavy metal, then buy, buy our EP. Come and see us again. You know, check out our MySpace page, Crowning Glory. And, uh, you know, we're travelling up and down the country, UK and Ireland, for the rest of the year. So if you're interested in real 
old school heavy metal, it's what we're about, then come and see us. Come and see us. Thanks very much. It's time to